2022 Crankworks Whistler Speed and Style Words and Photography slash slash James Stokey and Chris Pilling a sick trick in a sick place. The first race of the finals in Buchanan had been on fire all day, unfortunately, this day was not going to be his when an accident in this race ended his day. Unfortunately for the first place qualifying, Caroline Buchanan, the first start in the course would end her day when she reduced in a willingness to set back. Caroline Buchanan taking an unfortunate misfortune in the first round of late. She is fine, but she decided to sit her second career. The beauty of speed and style is that riders are sailing to the berms to the rhythm of the race among wood coaches. Alma Wigberg and Jordy Scott fight for the gold medal. Wigberg dropped the hammer in the second heat to try to compensate for the time differential with large tricks, turn the second starting game. Tapping shooters. Miklem vs Goldstone. When the sun began to advance in the sky, it provided colder temperatures for fans and a better light for photographers. Tomas Lemoyne hitting the shark fin just before the second start set. Just making forms. Lee Moyna. Jackson Goldstone showing that he has some tricks in his bag. Flip double bars for a second jump scored. Goldstone. Tomas Lemoyne and Bernd Winkler in the first heat of the final. As the commentators mentioned several times, this event is that fans come out, celebrate and see some great tricks. Gums with a large backflip NAC. High on the crowd. Scott vs Gums. Jordy Scott holding a gold end. You take Lemoyne with a backless tuck. Why not use blonde hair as foreground? Dylan Crane browsing the flat corners between the flags before immersing themselves in a berm. Winkler vs Meeklem. Flip vs Flip a foot can. Scott with a suey to suey. Robin Gums and VA Verbeck hold him around the berms in the round of eight. Between the two great characteristics of coach, some berms and flat corners with flags, the riders had to navigate this average attenuating dish. The crowds were notified to leave and see some tight races and large tricks. Laurent has a strong advantage in Miklem, but he does not demonstrate enough with Miklem winning both jumps. Scott and Wigberg looking for the results of judging. Scott essentially dominated base events 2 here in Whistler with a finish 2-2-1. Two, two, Laurent despite the doors. Via feels shy with the points of the Queen of Crankworks now when Jordy Scott has taken the front.